Hi everyone, this is Cham and today I'm going to make a review of the app code 2.0 and I actually uh, just watched the webinar of Amish one of the team members of uh, the app code and I really saw the future of mobile app development and man you really have to immerse yourself into this kind of industry because you know the internet is here today but the future is mobile apps thus you need to learn how to develop apps and you can do that by enrolling to the app code 2.0 for my quick review this is the most comprehensive educational system where you can learn how to develop apps from start to finish but the downside might be it is a bit costly but with all those comprehensive tools and educational system and expert team members and all those things that you can have in the training that price is nothing and it can bring you to the bright future but instead of talking a lot here uh, I want you to uh, watch some part of the video in that way you can judge for yourself if this program is something for you or not enjoy watching state of the internet right now is interesting you know I want you to think about these questions as I go through them how many blogs are out there hundreds of thousands a couple million well there are over hundred and seventy three million blogs out there how many Facebook and Twitter accounts are there thousands millions well there are 42 million Facebook pages and 140 million Twitter accounts out there think about that for a second 42 million Facebook pages and 140 million Twitter accounts and how many emails are there every single day how many get sent every single day hundreds of thousands millions there are 1.9 billion emails that are being sent every single day and that is the state of the internet right now you see everyone has been using the same tools for years now email Facebook and Twitter blogs press releases affiliate marketing and so many more right we all know these different tactics that are out there and looking at this it's easy to see that if you're thinking about going online or already marketing on the internet you're a very small fish in a very large and very crowded pond you see Wayne Gretzky you know one of the world's best hockey players that ever existed he said this and it's so true he said a good hockey player plays where the puck is a great hockey player plays where the puck is going to be and so if you're putting all your energy into the internet you will be left behind because it's yesterday's system see it's where the puck used to be not where it's going if you truly want to get ahead and have the desire to be out in front of everyone else you have to get involved in mobile a specifically mobile apps and only when you get into the mobile world will you find yourself ahead of the puck let's look at this again hmm on the left side we have Facebook Twitter and email and on the right side we have the Apple App Store which has 600,000 apps in the market where there are already over 800 million smartphones let's look at this again what market do you want to play in on the left where it's millions and billions or on the right in the Apple Store where there's 600,000 apps and 800 million smartphones right look everything is shifting towards mobile and the future is literally in the palm of your hands because now more than ever everything is going mobile right now the number of smartphones actually exceed the number of PCs sold each year that's right now this already happened the number of smartphones sold exceeds the number of PCs sold every single year think about that for a second over the next few years the number of mobile devices will actually dwarf the number of PCs look at where we are on this chart right around 2013 you know we are here we are here right now and look what's coming towards us in 2016 it's literally going to triple it's like a tidal wave coming towards us literally a tidal wave and we're right in the beginning we are right literally right in the beginning and check this out 80 percent of the world's population has a mobile device 80 percent and 1.8 billion of them are smartphones and 1.5 million new smartphones get activated every single day 
Luckily for us, it's still just the beginning because there's still over five times more dumb phones than smartphones. And dumb phones are basically like those flip phones and smartphones are the ones, you know, the iPhones and the Androids that are out there. Check this out. One in four households in the United States have cut their landline, making the mobile device their only means for communication. Think about that. One out of four households. And underneath that, we see that 50 million people worldwide own a mobile device, but don't even have electricity at home. That's 50 million people worldwide. They own a mobile device, but they don't even have electricity in their house. That is, that's the startling fact right there. Then we have the next one. More kids between two to five years old can work smartphones than actually their own shoes. And teenagers between the ages of 13 to 17 years old send and receive 3,705 text messages on a monthly basis. That's 123 texts a day. Did you also know that 51% of moms say they're addicted to their smartphones? That's 51% of moms say they're addicted. They're addicted to their smartphones. And on average, moms spend 37% of their daily media time with their smartphones, which is double that spent on TV and more than any other media out there, including radio, magazines, and newspapers. Did you know that Apple stock topped $600 in March of 2012 upon generating $128 billion in sales in 2011? Apple is now the most valuable company on earth at $621 billion, making it more valuable than Coca-Cola, Verizon, Walmart, or ExxonMobil. Apple could buy every single NFL, MLB, NBA, and NHL team and still have $31 billion left in the bank. Wake up. Wake up. The future is right in front of us. We are in the midst of a mobile revolution. So what is going to power all these smartphones? Well, it's going to be apps. You see, Angry Birds alone has over 600 million downloads, beating Nintendo DS, including all of their games. That's Nintendo DS and every single game that they own, that they have. Angry Birds, one game, beat the whole entire thing. Apps are now a $10 billion a year market, growing at a rate of 100% per year. And apps now actually consume more of our time than the web. So think about that for a second. You spend more time inside of an app or inside apps than you actually do on the internet or on the web. Isn't that a little crazy? That apps take up more of our time? And that just happened. You see, this is the new wave. This is the new world of technology. See, we have Ali G here, and the reason why is because OMG Pop was that game, Draw Something, right? The whole company got sold for $180 million. Then we had Instagram that got sold for a billion dollars. Then Zynga, they generate every single year 1.1 billion dollars a year Zynga a game company and Rovio the company is worth over 2.25 billion dollars that's just mind-numbing those are like startling facts it's just crazy then we have Foursquare Foursquare was founded in March of 2009 it took them about 13 months to get to the first million downloads and they were offered a hundred million dollar buyout and then there's Path they were founded late 2010 and relaunched late 2011. It took them one year to get to the first million, two weeks to reach an additional million post relaunch. And they were offered a hundred million dollar buyout. And then there's Instagram. We all know about Instagram, right? They were founded in March of 2010 and their traffic was a million downloads in 2.5 months. They got 10 million downloads in 14 months and now more than over 80 million downloads. They were acquired by Facebook for a billion dollars. That's billion dollars with a B. Facebook bought Instagram because of how many downloads they were getting. Then we have OMG Pop. Draw something. Draw something the mobile app was launched in January of 2012. They exploded to 50 million users in 50 days. They were acquired by Zynga for 180 million dollars. Look, it took AOL nine years to hit the million user mark. It took Facebook nine months. It took Draw Something nine days. 
check out this stat. Check out this little clip that we took. It took them nine days to hit a million people. You may be thinking that making apps is hard. You may think that it costs a lot of money. You think it's a flooded market and requires programming. Well, you're wrong. Actually, making an app is easy. And if you have a computer and a smartphone or a tablet, you can make an app right now. And so if mobile apps are the way to the future, then where do we even start? Well, it starts by you creating small apps that fill a big demand. Apps that you can make yourself with no programming experience, no app experience, no mobile marketing experience, no money out of pocket. And so now we're going to unlock the app code. We're literally going to unlock the app code. We've unlocked it and we're going to teach you it right now.